What's up, Legion Beasts? It's your boy Matty Ice, Leads for Locals. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I believe are the best lead generation strategies right now. Um, there's four of them that I'm going to deep dive into. I'm going to show you some of the results that I'm getting. All of these strategies I use in both my business and for my clients, and they're working really, really well. I'm also going to have tutorials in the description on how, like step by step, how to set these up in your business. So make sure you check those out. But uh, stay to the end of the video, and uh, you're going to have some great ideas, some great strategies for generating more leads in your business. Business. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's rock and roll. I'm going to be going through what I believe are the best lead generation strategies right now. If you're doing any type of online marketing, uh, this video game changer for you. Uh, really, really powerful stuff. I'm going to be going through four strategies that I implement for both myself and my clients that are getting fantastic results. Uh, what I encourage you to do is to like, if you're just getting started out with lead generation, uh, make sure like uh, j choose one, make sure you get results with that particular one and then move on to the next. Uh, if you can get all four in place, you're going to be generating more leads than you know what to do with. Okay. But start with one, master it, make sure you're getting leads in that one and then move on to the next. If you try to do all four at once, it's going to be too much. You're going to spread your ad budget thin uh, and more importantly, your time, uh, your time and effort. Okay. Um, also make sure you check out the description. I'm going to have full in-depth step-by-step tutorials on how to implement and create all of these strategies, uh, all of these lead generation strategies. I might not have all of them in the description at the time of this recording. However, what you wanna do is join the Facebook group because uh, anytime I come out with a new video, I always post it in the group. So make sure you join that group, um, especially if I don't have all the tutorials right now, okay? But I'm gonna be breaking down each one uh, in depth uh, in this video as well, uh, like the, the overall strategy of each one. And then you can check out the tutorials later. All right. These are my favorite lead generation strategies right now that are absolutely kicking ass. Uh, database reactivation is my absolute favorite. That's why I put it as number one base. Uh, well, we're going to go into it uh, into detail in a moment, but database reactivation has been absolutely crushing it for all of my clients right now. And uh, just to give you an example, this is a, a a database reactivation campaign that I ran for a business loan client of mine. We generated, uh, what is it, like 58, okay? 58 leads, conversations uh, from their their previous list that either died out, they hadn't contacted in a while, whatever. We sent one simple text and email, got 58 conversations going. We had five applications sent, we got six appointments booked, uh, we have 46 to follow up with, et cetera, et cetera. So this stuff works really well. I also did this. I, I've done this with multiple clients. It works incredibly well. Okay. Database reactivation, got to have it in your business. Uh, Facebook ads. There's a lot of controversy around Facebook ads because they're shutting down business managers and ad accounts. And I believe me, I get it. I hate Facebook. Okay. However, from a lead generation standpoint, it's still a very good platform to build your list. Okay, we're going to talk about that uh, in detail as well. LinkedIn sponsored messages. This is actually something new that we're testing right now. Uh, so far, it's doing really well. But this is very similar to database reactivation, except it's on LinkedIn. Uh, we'll dive into that. YouTube videos. Ugh, I've been saying for so long, you guys have to have video in your business. For some reason, people are so adamant about doing videos. The, but video, actually, I may have, uh, I probably should have put YouTube videos as number one, because the thing is, is when you create your video, upload it to YouTube, that thing works for you 24 seven. If you can get that thing ranked and, and check this out, guys, uh, I'm just going to bring you over to my channel, a couple of videos that I have. Um, again, make sure you check out the tutorial. If it's not there right now, join the Facebook group. I will post it when I have the tutorial out on, on how to get your videos ranked. But look at this. I have videos that I post. I have videos that I posted years ago that still generate leads, affiliate commissions, ex uh, appointments, etc. That I haven't done anything with since I posted them. Okay, that like every video you post is like having an uh, like a, a professional salesperson selling for you twenty four seven. Uh, especially if you get that rank. Look at this. I got a video here, almost seven hundred views. Uh, 455 views right here for how to generate business loan leads virtually for free. Uh, it's a really cool strategy that I came out with. If I have a product or service or I'm trying to book appointments in the business loan space and I'm getting, uh, I'm at 455 views, do you, uh, 29 likes. Do you think that I'm probably getting some appointments, some business from that? You 
absolutely bet your ass I am. 688 on this one, 319. Now, here's the thing. Not every single one of your videos is going to rank. That's not the point. You want to just be consistent with it. Not all of my, look at it. I have some videos that I've posted. Look at this. This this has only 140. This has 183. And I posted this months ago, long time ago. And I have videos that I just recently posted that are uh, getting way more views. So not all of them are going to rank. Just be consistent. And like, this is huge. YouTube videos are awesome. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, br let's break down each one individually. Database reactivation. Got to have go high level for this. Okay. Get a two week free trial in the description. It is an affiliate link. If you go through my affiliate link, you're going to get an email from me with something cool. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is. I have a lot of different stuff that I send out. But uh, anyway, I appreciate the support anyways, going through my link. But either way, database reactivation, no ad spend required. You don't need to set up Facebook ads, funnels, nothing. All you're doing is restarting a conversation with either your list or your client's list of prospects who have already reached out. All you're doing is restarting that conversation. Okay, that it's so freaking powerful. Uh, so you're using your current pros uh, list of prospects. It utilizes one simple email and text message. The results I showed you earlier, one text, one email, done. Most people responded to the text. Um, and of course, not everybody's going to be interested. But if you, you have a list of, let's say, a thousand people, you send a text out to them over the course of a few weeks. If you get, you know, 5% to respond and, and with interest, I mean, how many appointments is that for you? And, and it costs you a, a penny or two to send each text. It's insane. Um, now, the caveat to this, well, not really a caveat. Um, you should know what your your audience wants, but you have to have a really good offer. OK, um, you also want to keep it very informal. You don't want to send any links or anything. What you're trying to do is start restart the conversation. OK, uh, I never send links or anything when I'm doing this. Um, it's very casual, very informal, kind of like your a text that you would send to your friend. Like, hey, you know, um, I got this cool thing. You know, we've got a, a free 10 day pass to our gym. Would you like one? That's it. Uh, we have a custom business funding plan that we're trying to put together for people, for business owners, so they know what their financing options are. Would you like one? That's it. Let them say yes or no. And uh, it works really well. Next, Facebook ads. Um, okay. Uh, I'm actually going to log into a different account. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through the Go High Level Marketplace. So if you are not familiar with Facebook ads or you're just kind of fed up with it, Go High Level, the, the Go High Level Marketplace, which you need go high level for your database reactivation anyways. You get access to the marketplace where they will do your Facebook ads for you or for your clients, okay? Uh, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, guys, um, and I, I didn't even know this existed for, like I, I've had go, uh, go high level account for a while. Uh, there's just so many amazing things that it can do. Um, I wasn't even aware of how much stuff is in this marketplace. So when you log into, uh, it's on the agency level of Go High Level. There's a uh, there's a tab here that's called Marketplace. There are so many white label services in here that you can uh, upsell to clients, or I mean, you can just like if you're a business owner, you can just come in and hire them white as white label and just do it for yourself. It's totally fine. But if we scroll down here, look at this: Facebook and IG ads, uh, Instagram ads. Four ninety nine a month. The average is fifteen hundred a month. So you got like a thousand dollar spread. And of course, it also depends on your industry. If you have a high ticket industry, uh, you know, and you're if you if you could pay somebody five hundred bucks a month to do your Facebook ads for you, and you charge somebody two, three, five thousand bucks a month, I mean, you guys do the math on that. <laughs> That's just insane. But you can get go high level to do your Facebook ads. You can get them to do. Uh, your Google ads, if you want to do Google, you can have them build funnels. Uh, there's SEO services in here. Where, uh, where's their SEO? Social media management. Yeah, here, SEO. If you have an SEO agency, right? They utilize their marketplace, guys. But um, again, we're going through lead generation strategies for, and Facebook ads is definitely still a very good platform for it. Utilize this marketplace, guys. Uh, it takes, like, it It takes so much stress, pressure, um uh, off of your shoulders. You don't have to worry about ad accounts and all that. Let somebody else worry about it for you. Uh, not to mention that they've run thousands of Facebook ad campaigns in dozens of different industries. They know how to get results in your industry. Trust me. All right. So Facebook ads, they still do generate low cost leads. 
They're great for list building, especially when you use their uh, lead gen forms. I still do that to build my list. Uh, they work incredibly well for getting people onto your email and text uh, your SMS list, okay? They're, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, now, really quick, what I will say about that is um, you wanna have a strong funnel that qualifies people, You know, provides content, um, they have to go through multiple steps before they book an appointment or they, you know, you reach out to them, whatever, because you want to you want to uh, filter out the tire kickers and stuff. Uh, make sure you're still getting high quality, but it, it's really good for list building. Great for local businesses offering discounts of, of some type, free trials, like I mentioned, uh, for service based businesses like, uh, you know, financial planning that wants, they, they wanna to stick to the local area or something like that, maybe an accountant or something, offering some type of custom plan regarding their service works really well. Uh, so Facebook ads, still one of my favorite lead generation strategies, even though I can't stand Facebook. All right, LinkedIn sponsored messages. Um, I can't show like hardcore results for this right now because this is at the time of this recording, this is actually a new strategy for us, but so far it's working, uh, it's working really well. And um, one of the reasons that I decided to do this because I normally don't do uh, ads on LinkedIn because it can be very expensive. However, sponsored messages are not in the newsfeed. We're sending a message directly to somebody's inbox, which to me is very similar to a database reactivation campaign where we're sending a text and email directly to uh, a decision maker, okay? Or, or in, in an interested prospect, right? So it's very similar because that message is going right to their inbox. You don't need to be a connection. Uh, it's not in their newsfeed. Um, they do have to open it and click on it and things like that. But um, I like it because it goes right to their inbox. Uh, already talked about that. Um, it, it is relatively low cost. Uh, on, based on the list that I've done so far, it's only 20 to 40 cents to send a message. Now, that might sound like a lot compared to a text. But also, you, gotta, you have to remember that we're sending this to people who are not on our list right now. Okay. Um, and, and also the, the targeting that you can do on LinkedIn is insane. Uh, I mean, you, you want to get in front of decision makers that make a certain amount of money, that have a certain amount of experience, whatever. LinkedIn is really powerful for that. So uh, I'm really enjoying uh, sponsored messages so far. The LinkedIn platform is a real pain to learn, but you just have to get through it. Once you do, it's not that bad. Um, you can also use lead gen forms similar to your Facebook ads. You can do lead gen forms on these sponsored messages. So when they open your message and let's say um, you're offering, a, a, again, a custom plan or something like that, and they click on that, you don't even have to send them to your own website or landing page. A, a lead form will pop up right on LinkedIn to submit their name, email, and phone number. And then you just follow up with them. Like, hey, this is Matt from LinkedIn. Uh, I sent you that message about the custom plan. Uh, you filled out my form, just contacting you to do X, Y, Z, whatever, right? So LinkedIn sponsored messages, that's number three. Really good stuff. Uh, really good for a uh, higher ticket. Like if you're go trying to get right to the decision maker. YouTube videos, guys, got it. Like I, I should have put, almost should have put this as number one, but I like database reactivation as number one because it's so easy and quick to do. YouTube videos take more planning, takes a little bit longer to obviously create the video, things like that. But I strongly recommend uh, YouTube videos because they work for you 24 seven guys. When you know how to rank videos in YouTube, which it's really not that complicated, make it sure that your title uh, is really good. You have your description, you do a timestamp in your description, put some tags in there. I mean, that's pretty much it. And and the longer you do that, the, 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 the faster your videos rank, especially, well, that plus making sure that uh, you're creating videos that people are actually searching for. Um, again, check out the description for a tutorial on that. Uh, if it's not there right now, join the group. It will be there. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, the, these work for you 24 seven. Like I said, I got videos that generate leads, sales appointments for me that I did years ago that I don't mess with at all. Um, higher quality leads and appointments. And th there's a couple of reasons for this is because when somebody finds your YouTube video, they're actively searching for the solution that you provide. And if you can educate them and, and start to put them down the path of solving their problem, they're gonna want to do business with you. They're, they're gonna want your help, okay? Not everybody, but a lot of people are gonna want your help with that. And there's so much intent behind that appointment because they've, they, they were actively searching for an answer. They found your video, they watched your video, they clicked the link in your description to your appointment calendar or whatever it is that you're offering to book an appointment. That's, that lead is very serious, okay? Very high quality. 
Uh, it pre-sells the, pro the, the prospect because of the video content, obviously, and it builds massive trust, rapport, and creates that celebrity effect because there's just something about when somebody sees you on a video and they speak to you later on the phone, it, it just creates that minor celebrity effect. I don't, I don't know the psychology behind it, but it's really powerful. It, it's awesome. Um, oh yeah. And that's, uh, that's it. That, that, that's my four best lead generation strategies, guys. Do one at a time, get a system in place for each, but I promise th these work really, really well. Uh, you're, you're not always going to knock it out of the park with every single campaign that you do, every single video that you do. Trust me. Um, I know this for a fact, but I promise you, if you're just consistent with each one and you, you keep practicing, do some trial and error, these thing, the, these platforms, these strategies uh, for generating leads works really, really well, I promise, because I do it in my business and for my clients, I see the results, okay? So get these into your business, guys. Uh, give me a, give the video a like if you don't mind. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about these strategies? Which one are you going to start with? Which one's your favorite? Which one have you had the best experience with? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. Come out with these all the time. Get these, uh, uh, come out with these videos all the time. Get in the Facebook group um, so you know when all of these tutorials come out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are crushing it as always. And uh, I will talk to you in the next video. Take care.